All right, I'm finally done, or as done as I'll ever be, with my semi all-in-one uh, arcade station or retro retro gaming station, I should say, because I haven't tried any really arcade ROMs for Mame. Um, so. It took me a while, but I finally uh, managed to configure the controller properly, and um, it so far has been working fine, um, excellent actually, um, with Genesis ROMs and Super Nintendo ROMs. Uh, after the new config, I have to still test. Uh, Nintendo 64 and PlayStation games. PlayStation games are a bit of a pain to run, uh, but I'll, I'll try it nonetheless. Uh, this uh, these icons, as you can the, you see with the actual uh, icons uh, from the consoles, it's a special. Let me see if I can remove a bit of the blur. There you go, better. Uh, it's a special, uh, let me see if I can find it, uh, setting, I think it's under menu. Yes, uh, XMB theme retroactive. So if you, and by the way, I should specify, this is Laka running as the main OS. Uh, which is uh, Linux based, so it's a Linux distro, uh, and the front end is uh, uh, basically Laka. What you see here, uh, the developers are an amazing group of people. Uh, this is all done from scratch, uh, so thumbs up to them. Uh, go visit uh, RetroArc dot org I believe and the uh, LACA main site uh, L A K K A and uh, check them out if you if you want to. So the controller is just a standard game controller USB. Um, now comes the fun part. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I did to make it a somewhat all in one Hey, Peppa Pig. So it's a Dell laptop, zip tied, yes, zip tied to the handle of the LCD. You can't really see because of the light. That's where the USB uh, for the controller goes. Um, so as you can see, all the power goes into one main power cord and I attach that. To eliminate some of the weight, I remove the battery from the laptop. Not that I would run this mobile anyway, this Gigantor. Uh, tucked in the cables as best as I could. Uh, can't really, can't really see well. There he goes. Peppa Pig, move out of the way. And uh, the power supply for the laptop is down there. I'm gonna clip all the uh, all the zip ties. But all in all, I am uh, pleased. With the uh, with the result, let's see if we can go back to what I was playing before. See, I love this uh, this emulator, which again it's Laka. All the options while you're running. The uh, the ROM 
you're gonna insert cheats um, rearrange the controls uh, save and load state select the state uh, take a screenshot of it close it if you want to close it you want to restart and we'll do a resume we all know what game this is yeah a little better angle the let me tell you the emulator uh, the emulation has no lag so far that I could tell uh, even before my uh, previous testing Nintendo 64 Mario 64 and uh, that rampage world tour game they they play just fine um, I might have had some audio glitches uh, so I might have to tweak uh, the emulators a bit but as far as Genesis uh, and Super Nintendo uh, flawless and I mean it's a beefy laptop uh, it's a core i5 with 8 gig of RAM I don't even think I need 8 gig of RAM uh, for, to do this but I'm gonna leave it at that for now because um, I want to see performance once I have a stable system for uh, the PlayStation there's no PS2 uh, emulation yet in any system uh, so, because um, the machine is just too uh, too powerful for emulation, um, but uh, that's it.